On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. Today we're going to review another capo. This is part four of my capo buyer's guide. And I'll let you know this, today's got an extra special capo. One I particularly have a very large place in my heart for, for a very specific reason, which I'll tell you about in just here in a second. But the reason I'm doing this is because there are a ridiculous amount of capo options out there. And it's tough when you're deciding to buy one what you should buy because technically they all do the same job. And although they do the same job, the way they go about it is very different from capo to capo. They all have their strengths, they all have their weaknesses. So what I've done is I've taken the six most popular capos that I've found on Amazon based on reviews, as well as uh, capos that I've had just great experiences with. And I've, I've got these six capos that I wanna share with you that should be on your shopping list, or at least you should consider when looking for a capo. And the capo we're gonna look at today is the page capo. This capo is, it's truly a godsend. In terms of the three pieces of criteria that I evaluate a capo on, uh, durability, functionality, and ergonomics, uh, this particular one really um, excels in all three. And the, the, the secret reason I like this capo is because it's really hard to lose. It's, in, it's very difficult to lose. And let me explain. This is a capo that actually stays on your guitar. Uh, the capos we looked at thus far, uh, the G7th Performance 2 capo, the Dunlop Trigger capo, and the Kaiser capo, um, all were clip, uh, clamp-on style capos that you remove. You've, you take them off physically off the guitar. This one stays on the guitar. So let me show you how it works. So what we're gonna do is it has this little latch here. You can kind of see that hopefully. Uh, it has this little latch here and you're gonna open the capo up all the way, meaning the screw, you're gonna to just co totally loosen that screw, and you're gonna go ahead and put it behind the guitar, close this front part of the capo, almost like a door, and then flip that latch forward. There you go, now the capo is on your guitar. So here's the beautiful thing. If you're not using this capo, it stays right there. So technically, you can never forget your capo. This is one of the like the, the most terrifying nightmares is you show up to the open mic or to the gig and you left your capo sitting on the desk right next to where you practice your guitar. Um, with the page capo, you don't have to worry about that because it's literally on the guitar. And it's really easy to adjust. It's a two-hand adjustment. I would, I would say it's two hands anyway. So all you have to do is loosen the tension screw, slide it to the appropriate fret, hold it. I like to hold it with my index and middle finger, and then go ahead and close that tension screw on the back. And that's one of the other things I really like about this capo is that you can adjust the tension. Let's say you, you really wrench down on it, which you don't want to do, by the way, but let's say you over-tighten it. And you play your guitar and things are just not in tune. It sounds really funky. Uh, you can loosen it just a little bit. You can play with its orientation uh, much easier than you can with the other ones, especially in terms of uh, tension adjusting. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about this screw type capo is that you know, depending on your neck profile, depending on what fret you're on, you can adjust the tension so that it doesn't torque the guitar strings all that much. So that's the beautiful thing about the Page Capo. But I will say this, it does have some downfalls. It, in my opinion, it has few downfalls, but it has a couple downfalls. Uh, the first of which, because it is a tension adjusting style capo, um, there is a tendency to overdo it. Uh, and if you, continually to, if you continually overdo it time and time again, you can actually wear out the threads on the, um, the tension screw in the back. So that's not a good thing. Again, it takes time for that to happen, but just be wary of how tight you're actually uh, closing the capo on the strings. Second, and I'm actually gonna remove the capo from the guitar for this, um, the rubber piece on this front part, this kind of, uh, you can kind of see it here, this rubber piece, that part that actually contacts the strings, that can eventually develop little divots in it. And it's clamping power, you'll, you'll notice some buzzing and things like that. And, and so that, that can actually wear out. But the beautiful thing, I guess this is, this is actually not a downfall, it's actually a plus on this particular capo, is you can buy replacement uh, sleeves for this piece of the capo. So it's, it's actually a serviceable capo, which is really, really nice. Uh, one of the other downfalls,
consoles. This is actually more of a warning. Um, if you happen to have a guitar that has a volute on the back of the neck, meaning the back of the neck up here has a little diamond piece. Uh, you'll notice it on uh, 28 series Martins um, and some other guitar makers. I believe some of the Collings guitars have it, but it's called a volute. It's for, for reinforcement of the headstock, but it protrudes pretty far. So if you're trying to hook your page capo on, in fact, I'll just do this backwards here for you. Uh, if you're trying to hook your page capo on and you can't get it up there, that volute's gonna be in the way. So just, just take that into consideration. This is something that I've actually experienced. I bought a capo, it didn't fit because of the volute on the neck of my guitar and I thought, well, that's a bummer. Um, so just something to be wary. So if you have a 28 series Ma a Martin or anything with a volute, uh, make sure that uh, the page capo is one that you kind of check off your list because it won't stay up there very solidly and chances are that you won't be able to even get it on the correct way. The manner in which the page really excels at, again, because it is one of those capos that you, it's really hard to lose this bad boy. Capos are a lot like sunglasses because you take them off, you place them somewhere, you leave, and then pretty soon you've forgotten and lost your capo. Uh, you can't do that with the page unless you change your strings. Be very, very careful. You wanna put that capo back on after you're done changing strings. So there you have it. That is the, the wonderful page capo. Definitely one that I think you should consider. Uh, it ranges anywhere between uh, 25 and $30. So it's a... Uh, um, I'll say it's a medium priced capo, but you can check the link below. Uh, that'll give you the most accurate current pricing. Uh, so you can check that out and uh, definitely one you should have on your list to check out. I really hope you dug that review and found it useful. As you can see, I am a complete guitar geek. Anything guitar at all, I'm very much interested in. In fact, what I'm very focused on right now is finding out this connection, almost, you know, digging into what drives people to play guitar, what drives people to practice guitar. And in working with a bunch of in-person students as well as thousands of online students, I've discovered that there are six distinct guitar practice personality types. Now, your guitar practice personality type, or your GPP if you want to use an acronym, is it's, it's almost like a key that unlocks the most efficient practice you can possibly have because it streamlines your focus into things that most resonate with you. Finding out your GPP will allow me to suggest practice methods that really will benefit you based on, again, your, your personality type, your guitar practice personality. So what I want you to do is click the link below and it's gonna take you to a quiz, a short quiz that will ask you some really fun questions about guitar practice. And then at the end, you'll find out what your guitar practice personality type is. And this is a great step in the right direction if you wanna maximize the awesomeness of your practice.